Hi, I'm Randy Maxey with Infinity Cutting Tools and today I want to take a couple minutes and talk about the Infinity Cutting Tools Lock Miter Master Jig. If you take a look at a lock miter joint, you can see how it mechanically interlocks and provides a lot of glue surface to create a super strong joint. The problem with using a lock miter router bit is that it's difficult to set up. It's based off the center line of the thickness of your workpiece, which means that you have to not only adjust the bit height in your router table, but you also have to exactly position the fence to get a perfect fitting joint. The Lockminer Master Jig solves these problems. Now, as I mentioned before, the Lockminer joint requires you to know the center line of the thickness of your workpiece. Everything is based off of that center line. The trick I use to get the center line of my workpiece is to use a marking gauge and to make a mark from both faces until my lines align. That way I know I've got the exact center. So I'm going to go ahead and mark one edge and also one end to help me set up my lock miter master jig on my router bit. So I'm going to make my mark and just so you can see it, I'm going to come in here with a pencil and make a line to give me a better idea of where that center line is. The Lockminer Master Jig is machined from aluminum. We also have a couple of rare earth magnets that help hold the jig to the bit. So I'm going to stick that jig on my bit and you'll notice that there's a lip machined into the aluminum right here. So I'm going to slide that in until it's under this cutting edge right here. And then I'm going to slide it up and make sure that that lip is against the bottom edge of that cutting edge on the bit. The next step in the process is to take my workpiece with the center line drawn on it and place it up against the edge of the jig. My goal here is to align the center line of my workpiece with the long index mark on the lock miter master jig. So obviously I need to lower the bit here to make that happen and as soon as I get those aligned I can move on to the next step. Now with the bit height set, the next step in the process is to set my fence position. But it, before I do that, I need to make sure that the Lockminer Master Jig is square to the fence. So I'll just come in here with a square and turn the bit just a little bit until it's square to the fence and then I'm ready for my next step. Just like we did for the bit height, the goal here is to adjust the fence until the center line of my workpiece aligns with the long index mark on the Lock Miner Master Jig. So I'm just going to move that fence in just a little bit until it's right there. Looks pretty good. So we're going to tighten it right there. Now you want to make sure when you're adjusting the fence that your workpiece doesn't come down and bump the jig out of position. If it does, all you need to do is slide it back up until that lip on the Lockminer Master Jig engages the bottom cutting edge of the bit. Now the last thing to do before we start routing is to make sure that the Lockminer Master Jig is still square to the fence. If it's not, of course you're going to want to make the adjustment to make sure it is square and then go back and check the fence position using the center line of your workpiece. If everything checks out, you can just take the jig off and you're ready to go. When you use a lock miter router bit, you'll notice that it creates a knife edge along the edge of your workpiece. In order to protect that fragile edge, I just take a piece of scrap that has a nice straight edge on it and use some double sided tape to fasten it to my workpiece so that as I run it along my fence, I'm not crushing that fragile edge. When using a lock miter router bit, the bit is essentially trapped in the workpiece, so you'll want to use some sort of hold down like the Jessam clear cut stock guides or at least a feather board to keep that workpiece secure as you make the cut. The beauty of using a lock miter router bit is that once it's set up properly using the lock miter master jig, is that you can cut both sides of the joint with one setup. Now I've assembled my test pieces and you can see the joint doesn't quite come together perfectly like we like it to. So all I need to do is put my Lockminer Master Jig back on the bit 
and check my fence position and the bit height one more time just to double check to make sure everything's accurate and make one more test cut and we should be good. So I put the jig back on my router bit and checked my settings once again. You can see my bit height was actually a little bit off so I need to make that adjustment to get that back in line. And then I can go back as before and check the fence setting using the center line of my workpiece. So I've used my Lockmiter Master Jig to make final adjustments to my bit height and fence position and made a second test cut and I've got a perfect fitting joint. Now the Lockminer Master Jigs are available individually or as a set. So go to our website and check them out. And while you're on our website, go check out our blog where you can read more in depth about how to use the jig and set them up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page where you can stay up to date on the latest that's going on here at Infinity Cutting Tools.